what will what I will show you now is a simple trick that will allow you to get to get whatever images you want in a very fast way. What you need to do this this time is to open uh, SSH client of your machine. In my case, I will use Putty client. So in Putty, I will type the IP address of Venet Lab image, and I will specify that I need to connect via port uh, twenty two on SSH protocols. Then I will to open. It will give me now a security warning that the certificate uh, is unknown to my local device. So I will trust this certificate. Then it will ask me to provide the username and password. So as we said earlier, the Bennett Lab uh, virtual machine, the console access is uh, username is root and password, as we said before, is Bnet. So I don't know if uh, the image or uh, the screen is large enough. So I will try to uh, make uh, things, long, uh, things on the screen or text on the screen uh, looks uh, larger in order to uh, make it visible to you from your side. So I choose now uh, a larger text size. I hope uh, it will do. Uh, what I need to do now is uh, to verify that from my Bennett Lab machine that I have internet connectivity. So I will try to ping 8.8.8.8 uh, and I got replies. So uh, I, uh, I have internet connectivity. Then I will do uh, a command called I share. I share uh, the word I as a letter I, then the word share. Then I will search, type search. And then I will say whatever image that I want to download. So if you are trying to download a chemo image that run Windows machine, you can type uh, the word or the keyword win. So uh, when you hit enter, it will go and search via the iShare application. And now you have options to download all these images. Each image is running a specific software with a specific feature. You have Windows 7 image. You have Windows 7 X, X, X86 image, you have Windows XB, you have Windows Server 2008, 2012, 2016. You have a lot of images when it comes to Windows. So in order to download any image from this, you need uh, first to verify that you have free storage in the location where the virtual machine is installed. The location which we choose, uh, which, which we have chosen uh, early, earlier in this video. Because if every image have, uh, has a specific storage requirement, for example, this image requires 7 GB of storage, this image requires 1 GB of storage. For typical usage, I recommend to use a Windows 7 Lite machine. Uh, it is 3 GB of storage and it will do and will support us in our mission. Uh, in case you need to download uh, any operating system, any other operating system like Palo Alto Firewall, you need also to type I share search Palo Alto, but and you will see all OSs or all images related to Palo Alto that you can download and the size of each image depending on the need or as a requirement you are uh, needed. Uh, or the requirement for the lab needed, you may need to uh, build a holistic or complete lab that is based on Palo Alto, Fortinet, Windows uh, technology, as well as Cisco. So uh, it is a matter of concern about Cisco. So we'll, I will show you how to get Cisco images. I will, I will type I share, search, and then I will type uh, a keyword like uh, layer two. Now I have a lot of images that are all looks like iOS images from Cisco. So I will choose any image of, the, of these images, but I personally recommend to search by the year. Uh, so instead of typing uh, uh, L2, I will type 2019. Uh, 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 in order to get the latest images that uh, published in during uh, the 2019. So I will choose this first image. It is size is 100 and, uh, 120 megabytes of memory. So uh, in order to download this image, I will type I share, uh, but this time I will write Paul and then I will uh, paste the name of the image. I, first, I, I highlighted the name of the image uh, and in Potty software and similar terminal application, when you highlight any text, it auto uh, copy it in the clipboard. So uh, now I will hit enter. And then uh, the iShare application will uh, get the file for me. It will download it. But uh, 
what we can see here is that we have an error or we have a problem so I will try to download the image once again to, to try to overcome the problem but in case the problem happened again I will search for another image to download so it, it is not necessarily that I need to download this image so I will choose another image so I will choose this image it is exactly the same date uh, but the size of the image is uh, a bit uh, larger so I will hit I share goals in the image name and hopefully hopefully it will start downloading so as you can see here the download progress started now I am downloading like five megabytes so we will wait till the download complete to see what the next steps that we are going to do so uh, now the download uh, completed and as you can see here the download progress or the download size was 120 megabyte unlike what was written on the screen which was 20 hundred megabyte so uh, it might mean that the size of the image after uh, installation uh, it, it will be uh, decompressed to this path and after decompression the total size of the image will be 200 megabytes so uh, now i can navigate again once again to my web browser and try to add an object and add a new node now i will have a new option no i still don't have any additional option so i will refresh the lab screen and now after refreshing the lab screen when i try to add a new node now i have a new option that i can add cisco ios uh, and ios l2 so i will choose ios l2 but unfortunately in the image field i have the keyword invalid which means this is not for the right option so i will select the iol without l2 now I have the name of the image that I just downloaded. I can here optimize the amount of memory, but it is recommended to keep the memory as it is. So uh, once I click save, and I will try to add additional uh, device from the same model. But as you can see here, the device that I'm using or downloading is layer two device. I, I knew that from the keyword in the binary uh, file image. So I can choose another logo for this device uh, that uh, make it look like a switch. So I will choose uh, a symbol that uh, uh, look, look like a switch for my device. So I have an option in, uh, in Bennett Lab to choose, uh, to choose between a lot of logos. But uh, in each page, I have uh, like uh, uh, 25 logos, so I can uh, navigate from page to another uh, till I find uh, the good example or a good lo logo that uh, will uh, suffice my needs. So I found this logo and it looked interesting and looked like a switch. So I will hit OK, then I click select and we'll call this device a switch and then click save so now i have two devices in my bennett lab device i may uh, click on this device as well and choose uh, ios image or uh, choose the thumbnail that look like a switch the way i did on the with the first device then i will call it switch also then i will hit, i will hit save now I have two devices, I can press on this icon in order to uh, get a connection between the two devices. So when I click on it and uh, drag it to the next device, I will have uh, a new screen that telling me that which interfaces on both devices that you need to uh, attach this cable to. So I will choose Ethernet 00 and Ethernet 00 on both devices and I click save. And by the way, you cannot add links on Bennett Lab devices without powering off it first. So you need, uh, the devices need to be powered off before adding devices because as we said, it is like an emulator software. So it, it is not working the same way as that packet tracer do. Then I will uh, select uh, both devices uh, by the, uh, the, right click, uh, the left click of the mouse. Then I will click on start selected devices. After clicking on uh, this option, the devices should now be powered on. And when I click on uh, any one of these devices, it will ask me 
to uh, choose an application to open the device terminal. So, I, so I, in my case, I will use secure CRT application. But in your case, you might choose an application. You might not have secure CRT. So I will choose a PuTTY application. So I will navigate to where is the location of PuTTY on my machine. So in my machine, the PuTTY application is existing in, in this a URL or in this path, so I will choose party icon. Then I will select always use party application to open uh, this type of files in case you don't have a secure CRT application. Then I will hit open the link. Now, when I, I hit enter, I have now a fully operational switch that uh, is running on Bennett Lab. When I hit show CDB neighbor, I will find that my, the first switch can sense the second switch using the CDB protocol. Uh, 